it's so good to be with you today. We have been talking about 12 healthy habits that heal. This is not a quick fix y'all, but it is a permanent fix and it's something that is going to change our lives. So we have been talking about less stress, pray more. We learned that stress isn't good for us in so many ways, it can harm our health. So we are rewriting our story with God talk. We talked last week about self-talk and making that God talk. So if you remember, we talked about Dr. Shad Helmstetter. We talked about his experiment and how he lost 38 pounds in 10 and a half weeks just by listening to his himself talk on audio with positive things about diet and, and the things that he was doing to change his diet. His wife also lost 25 pounds. He helps people with this now, as you may remember. And then Joyce Meyer and how she, with good confessions, God taught her to speak good things. And she was able to quit smoking, something that she had tried over and over and over again with failure until she changed the way she thought and what she spoke. It's powerful, y'all. If you didn't listen to that one, go back and listen to it. It's posted at HelloHealthyHabits.com or at HelloHealthyHabits at YouTube. It's really valuable because I believe this is a tool that God gives us that we can stop trash talking ourselves and we can begin to say what His Word says. And that's so valuable. So let's remember that verse that we started with when we were talking about stress. Such a valuable verse that I think we should memorize if we don't know it. It's in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. And if you remember, it talks about don't be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God and the peace of God that transcends or, or is greater than our understanding will fill our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That's what we are doing, is we are transforming our mind with His Word and we're giving Him our stresses. And that's what we wanna rewrite. So guys, when it comes to stress, what about if we rewrote what's going on in our head instead of with failure, instead of with I can't, what about if we change that either with what we speak, with what we listen to, with our words and our thoughts, what if we change that to how we can and how with God's help we can, how in His weakness we're made strong. I rewrote that for myself and I plan to put it on, on my mirror, the verses in Philippians 4, 6 and 7. And this is what I wrote. I'm not anxious or worried about anything. In every area of my life, I give my concerns and requests to God. I thank and praise Him for the many things He's already done. I thank and praise God for all the things He's going to do. Nothing is impossible with God. As I meditate on Him and His Word, He floods me with His peace like a soft cloud that engulfs me. His gentle peace calms me and it's beyond my comprehension. I rejoice in Him and my strength is renewed. I plan to read that to myself every day, to reprogram what I think. What's, what is it that's stressing you? What's worrying you? What's stealing your peace? I believe that there are nuggets in God's Word that we can begin to speak and rewrite that thinking that's defeating us and that's negative and that makes us feel like we can't do it. So ask God, as we go to Him in prayer, we're trying to make a habit of spending time with Him daily. So when we spend time with Him, just ask Him, show me those scriptures that I can use, that I can begin to speak those instead of the negative things that are causing me to worry, that are causing me to fear. And I believe He's going to do that for you. He's gonna do it for me. And I believe He's going to help us to find those scriptures and those truths and that God talk that's going to help us in each and every one of the 12 steps that we're going to be going through. I think this is just a real gift from God and I'm super excited about it. So ask Him to help you, ask Him for those verses. I'd love to hear from you if you find some and, and if He really just impresses some of those on you and you're able to just write them in a way that you can change those thoughts in your mind and you can begin to stress less and worry less and begin to feel His precious peace and His presence in your life. I'd love to hear about it. All right, I'm right here with you, doing it with you. We can do this. We've got this, guys, okay? 
It's an awesome tool. I'm very thankful. God is so good. That's it for the day, and I'll see you next time. God bless you big. Bye-bye.